It's November 11th and it's seven degrees and everybody's burning propane or they're burning oil or they're burning wood um, and that all costs money. A winter is unforgiving, um, it's long, it's cold. It can get very serious in uh, northern Minnesota and if you have uh, solar, that's something that is reliable year-round. So our mission is to make solar energy accessible to everyone, and really that's the root of that is addressing energy poverty. Energy poverty, I think the best way to describe it in, in the worst case scenario is having to make the choice between do I pay my energy bills this month or do I put food on the table? We all pay the same amount for our electricity to our utility company, but it disproportionately affects people with lower incomes. Well, the, the, the main way for lower income people to pay their energy bills is through um, energy assistance. And every year you can get that subsidy if you qualify, but you're burning up that gas and you're burning up that oil. Um, solar is a, is a longer lasting solution. So solar is a way to put more dollars into those programs and at the same time, give families the choice to be part of the renewable energy economy as we keep moving forward. We started in 2000 um, by our founder, Jason Edens and BJ Allen when they qualified for the energy assistance program. At the same time, they heard about this solar array that was being thrown away and taken off a house. So they literally dumpster dived, um, took the solar array, installed it on their house, and were able to save enough energy to not have to rely on the energy assistance program. So our whole origin story is really the basis of the work that we do today and proving that it works um, from, from that model. So we have two different programs. One works with Habitat for Humanity and that's installing on um, individual homes and we also have a community solar program where all the savings from the community solar array go back into the energy assistance program. So in that way, it's serving more families, but it's in a community, like a community garden, it's a community solar array. Uh, then we also throw in that we do uh, solar education um, for, for schools. The Education and Community Outreach, or ECO program, works with people of all ages to learn about solar energy. So that could be at a community event or with our solar schools project and talking about solar with kids. Uh, and it also includes our workforce development opportunities. So like our workforce development opportunity with the Leech Lake Nation and the Leech Lake Tribal College is part of that as well. We gave our manufacturing uh, tools and materials to Honor the Earth, that's uh, a nonprofit organization on the White Earth Nation. And they started an organization called Eighth Fire Solar. So they are now manufacturing our solar heating technologies. But a lot of it has been willing to work with partners and willing to work with people in the communities. I think that's really essential in empowering the communities, learning from what communities already know and how we can come in with our solar expertise. We're working at this center of economic justice and social justice and environmental justice all at the same time and at a critical time um, to be including people as we're moving forward to renewable energy economy and including more people to be part of that.